Hi everyone, so today's get ready with me and outfit of the day is just a very fun, easy going kind of look you can kind of put together quickly if you're going to be combing the beach, so to speak. This is a fun, very relaxed look that you can wear if you're going to get your feet in the water as well as shopping along the beach. Um, so sometimes if you're going to go shopping and eating along the beach, you want to do a little bit more to get yourself dressed up so that you fit in for all occasions. Now, uh, when I comb the beach, I traditionally do it after I've already done a sporting activity. So traditionally, I'm not really in makeup. It's probably the most dressed up I've ever been to go beach combing. But I'm also going to the art walk tonight, so I wanted to look a little nicer than usual and put on a pretty dress. I'm just barely going to dip into the ocean and walk along it. I'm not going to be doing any hardcore swimming. And yeah, I hope you enjoy and thank you for watching. So to get started on the look, I've already prepped um, my face with toner and moisture moisturizer and for the eyes I took Andalou Naturals Luminous Eye Brightening Serum. For the eye primer I'm actually going to be taking the Gabrielle eye primer in the shade neutral and we're going to go ahead and place this from the lid to the brow bone. Base, I'm taking the Inglot 43 and 45. Yeah I'm almost out of these. We're just using these up until the container has nothing. And I'm just going to take my 957 from Dillium Tools which is a flat top and place this on the skin. We've already allowed 10 minutes to let the toner and moisturizer soak in. That way we don't end up with just a very slippery face. I'm just going to place this on the eyelids as well. Part of my easy day regimen that I like to do. I'm taking the Too Faced Tinted Beauty Balm. This is the shade Nude Glow. And if you have really even beautiful skin tone, you could probably go ahead and use this all by itself. I like my skin, but I wouldn't say the tone is even. So I put on the thin layer of foundation because I want that my usual sort of cream finish dewy effect. The Inglot Cream Concealer in 63. So for the eyes, I'm taking the Tarte Smolder Eyes Pencil in the shade Champagne. This is a yellow shimmering nude. And I just place that underneath the arch of the brow bone and spread it downwards using my finger, the, the inner tear duct. Now for the upper lash line, I'm taking Moonstone Brown. This is a Tarte Smolderized Pencil again, just a skinny one. The formula, I think, is fairly similar. I'm just taking this from the lash line. And the reason I'm taking the brown one rather than like a black one is because I want to enhance my eye color just to go for a really pretty look. And then I'm just blending that upward. I'm taking Illamasqua Cream Blush in the shade Laid. And this is a very pretty purple pink. It's very similar to Sweet Pea by Too Faced. So to be honest with you, you really don't need both one or those others if you're looking for a pink purple. This one's actually a little bit more pigmented. So a little goes a long ways with uh, Illamasqua Laid. Uh, my Too Faced Aqua Bunny. And we're just going to go ahead and buff this into the contour. I'm going to take Stila Oliver Shimmer and the shade Kitten Shimmer. We're just going to place this on the areas we want to bring forward our highlight. And we're just going to buff that on using our same foundation brush. Now we're taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil and we're placing this on the waterline just to neutralize that up a bit. Now I'm going to set my cream applicated face with Pumpkin Poppy's Oil Absorbing Mineral Veil with my Delling Tools Green Bamboo 942, also comes in yellow. Op uh, open up the eyes or brighten up the eyes with some mascara. I'm going to go ahead and take Ingla Ong and Curly Mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and take Ingla Soft Precision Lip Liner in the shade 68. Let's do the Claire Balm Lipstick in the shade Olivia. Which is a nice nude. Barely legal lip gloss, which is a nice pinky nude. Very similar to NARS Turkish Delight. I like this one better though, to be honest with you, because uh, I do like the tingle, for one. I do like the way it plumps out the lips. Number two, I hate the smell of NARS lip glosses. Uh, I won't even, well, NARS isn't cruelty free. But um, as far as the lip gloss goes, I'm just naming out why I don't like NARS lip gloss aside from the other obvious. For this hairdo, what I do is I take blonde bobby pins or whatever color your hair is. They're really good about selling um, those types of pins now. Maybe if you can't find redhead ones, tortoise shell ones might work. Um, or even dark blonde ones might work. So what I have here is just a really extremely messy pony. There is no rubber banding to it. Rubber bands can actually break hair. So what I like to do is if I'm going to do a pony, 
I generally, this is what I like to do because it also gives you the option of taking your hair out and wearing it down on maybe second or third day hair even. You could actually sleep on it because it lays the actual like hairdo, the up arrangement lays flat to the skull. All it is is just a twist up and then in, as opposed to pulling the ends in with a French twist, you just completely leave the ends out and you have a really cool, cute, messy pony. This is perfect for um, a very heavily layered hair like mine, um, hair that's growing out and hair that is in a really cute bob also similar to mine. And also if you have a lot of bangs and stuff at the crown like mine, or if you have a lot of breakage, this was perfect because it looks like super like intentional. I've even had this hair, I even would wear this back when I had extremely long hair and very few layers just because it's a lot uh, more easy on the hair and much more comfortable than a pony and much more stylish looking too. Um, so yeah, you can always dress it up, decorate it, whatever you wanna do. All right, so my little outfit of the day, this is basically my bathing suit top you can see from here is from Macy's. I love Macy's swimsuits. I'll probably get one more next year. Some is almost over, so I'm not gonna invest right now. But I absolutely dislike most other swimsuits like Target and stuff. I've gotten a few cute Target swimsuits, they just don't last as long. So this is my tried and true swimsuit. I never really share where I get this, even though I've mentioned it a few times on Instagram, is because they don't make it anymore. But uh, yeah, I spent a little bit more money and it's well worth the investment. Four years now I've had this going strong. And um, yeah, this little outfit of the day is from Target. Uh, it is uh, in black. They make this in gray as well. It's just a little high-low black dress with lace cap sleeves, a little lace pocket. It gathers at the waist. It has elastic gathering. And uh, it just smooths out into the high. skirt is one of my favorite parts about this. It's just very casual and comfortable. It's like very like long and uh, so you don't have to have like the most perfect legs or whatever to wear this. It's just very fun. And um, sorry if you can hear my dog come talking. Hi, honey. This uh, really fun high-low, and uh, yeah, you can get this in gray. I definitely like these shoes. These I got in Idaho last year. I've only seen these on the internet and in Idaho. Um, it's because that particular store I found in Idaho specializes in vegan toms. Some toms are made of wool and therefore not vegan. So that's it for today's beachcomber outfit of the day. So basically, I'm not really getting into the water if some of you guys are wondering because I don't recommend wearing this quantity of makeup ever like when you're going swimming. Just let your pores breathe and have fun. I'm going to be eating, shopping, going to the art walk. Um, and so you'll see that on Instagram, so that's kind of why I got a little bit more made up than usual. Otherwise, I'm completely barefaced when I'm doing yoga and swimming. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this, and thank you for watching.